So like Thelma and Louise, did you, the script came to you and you said, boom, I love the script or? Well, no, I, the script came to me and um, through Callie and through the person who's running my company. Mm-hmm. And they, they were friends and they knew each other. And um, I read the script thinking, hey, it's pretty interesting. And I think, I said, yeah, two women, of course, said, yeah, but it's not for you. I said, okay. And so I was then used as the, the what I call the sprat to catch the mackerel, which is actually I go around and try and persuade directors to do it. No one wanted to do it. Hmm. Guys, mostly guys, they said, I don't want to do that. It's these two men in the car, I don't know about that. I said, well, that's the, that's the point, dude. They are difficult because they've got a lot to say about who you are. So obviously you shouldn't do the film right now, so you're definitely not doing it. And then I was then interviewing, because it was on a fast track, and I was doing, I was meeting some actresses for it. I mean, very good. Not the ones who did it. And one of them said to me, really sweet, I can't do this. I'm, I'm a bit old. And she said, why don't you come to your senses and you do it? So I went, mm. I did it. I said, you know what? Right. Because I knew what to do. And the more I talked about it, mm-hmm. to selling it to directors, um, the more I felt I knew what to do. Mm. And so by doing it, it was a good rehearsal for me to then jump in and do it. And I made it probably more epic than Kelly necessarily wanted. Be, but I felt it was important because, A, I thought it should be f- amusing, funny, mm-hmm. except for the ending, which is then not a tragedy. It's the correct ending because it's a continuation of the journey. Mm-hmm. So I always looked on it as something that, that should be pretty funny, epic in terms of its scale, because it is definitively, metaphorically, their last journey. So the last journey should be epic. Mm. So I was always, I'm an operator in those days, so I was always got my eye to the viewfinder, and everything was, like, big and, you know. But I thought it was beautiful. Mm. 